Namaste. Welcome to the first episode of Ayurveda Talks. We have with us Professor Emeritus, Dr. Subhash Ranade, sir. Welcome to Ayurveda Talks. Thank you. Professor Emeritus, Dr. Subhash Ranade, sir, is the chairman of International Academy of Ayurveda, Pune. Since 1982, sir has visited 77 countries across all five continents. Sir was also appointed as the visitor's nominee at Banaras Hindu University by the President of India for three years. Sir has received many awards in India and abroad. Sir has also given many television and radio interviews across the globe. So let us not waste any further time and talk to Professor Emeritus Dr. Subhash Ramade Sir on Around the World with Ayurveda and Yoga. So, sir, uh, you started so early in the 1980s with a mission to propagate Ayurveda. That's right. What was your first country of visit and what gave you the motivation to propagate Ayurveda globally? Well, my first country of visit was uh, West Germany because in 1982 both the Germanys were not united as of today. And uh, myself and my wife, we were invited to. Saarbrücken, one of the states of West Germany. There is a, a big pharmaceutical, a big uh, industry actually, which was manufacturing sterilized medical equipments, and it was called as Sterilmed GmbH. So the man in charge was Mr. Willy Kremling, and uh, he invited both of us to Germany to give talks on high. Can I tell you how it started? How yeah, sure, sir. Yeah. Sure, we would I love to know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it so happened that during that time I was uh, working as a professor at Tiranagar College, and there was a <coughs> the delegation from West Germany who was uh, who came to visit our college. In fact, they did not knew anything about Ayurveda. That is strange, but they wanted to know something about Narayan oil, the oil that we use for so many different purposes. They were knowing that Narayan oil is useful against arthritis and during that time in West Germany arthritis was a big problem with a lot of workers who would be abstaining from the duties because of uh, severe joint pains and joint involvements. And somebody told them that uh, go to India and find out Narayan oil and start uh, importing the same to the West Germany and uh, we can treat uh, many Workers here in West Germany. So they came to our college, Tilak Ayurveda College in Pune. Uh, in fact, I gave uh, a lecture on Ayurveda and told them that uh, Narayan oil is a part and parcel of our treatment procedures and we use so many different uh, herbs and minerals and nutrients and all those things. Anyway, they were very curious to know about Ayurveda. They said, uh, uh, then they took uh, a joint meeting of all the professors. They said, we would like to invite uh, all of you to Germany to start an uh, exchange program with our various institutes, provided you speak German language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was a big obstacle, in fact. Uh, and many of us uh, at that time, they, people thought that, well, at this age, who's going to learn the new language? So many of the teachers, they turned down the idea, but myself and few of other our friends, we took up the challenge. I was about uh, 35 years old and uh, we joined the Max Müller or Goethe Institute in Pune where you have a very good education of German language, Deutsche Sprache. Also there is one more institute of my name, Radhade Institute of Foreign Languages in Pune Universities. So we joined both the courses. One is slow going course, Radhade Institute's course is slow going, it's a year long course. And they teach German uh, only twice uh, in a week, Saturday, Sunday. While the maximum Burns courses are crash courses and they uh, intend to teach German, at least speakable German language uh, in about uh, six weeks time. So it's a very hard course. Anyway, we joined myself and my wife, we joined the both the courses. And we were able to communicate a right few words German. Then we bought a small typewriter, those were the days where 
we were doing typing letters and uh, I still remember it was a small typewriter having umlauts in German language there are five letters which have two dots on the head and that is called an umlaut A E I O U and I wrote the first letter that uh, dear doctor dear Mr. Kremling hope you remember in German language of course uh, that you remember, hope you remember your visit to our Taylor Guide College in Pune and uh, myself and my wife we both have learned German language so we are eager to visit uh, your country and Germans are very perfect people and they immediately uh, those were the days when our later would read German German country in our fortnight so after uh, reaching the letter the next fortnight they sent me Lufthansa German Airlines ticket from Bombay to Frankfurt and back. So that was the first visit of uh, our, myself to West Germany. And uh, later on, subsequently, we both started visiting uh, Germany and other countries. So that is how we started visiting going abroad. Really fascinating. <laughs> and I know you speak a lot of languages now, but uh, back then in 1980s in India, people were. It was even difficult to speak English and now it's learning a new language surely was a difficult task and uh, <laughs> you are pretty good at it. Uh, you have also established the International Academy of Ayurveda. Uh, so sir, please tell us something about International Academy of Ayurveda and the work IEAs. Yeah. So we started visiting uh, foreign countries uh, as you mentioned in your introduction in 1982-83 and first we were invited in various European countries, then we visited the Southeast uh, Asian countries like Thailand, Malaysia, all those countries also. And uh, we, during that time we also visited the United States and other countries. And then whenever we were giving lectures on Ayurveda, people, our students actually, they were demanding that, uh, sir, we would like to come down to India to learn Ayurveda at its roots, where really the Ayurveda has sprung up and where Ayurveda as its roots. So that gave us an idea to establish an institute uh, of our own. Of course, as you know, there I was, I myself was a professor at Taylor Academy College, and there were uh, a number of uh, Ivory colleges in India, but they wanted a private institute where they would be able to learn either how, the, how the patients are admitted, how they are treated, and all those things. So in 1996, 11th of January, we established International Academy of Ayurveda with the sole idea of uh, uh, training basically foreign students first in India and giving them first hand uh, exposure to various Ayurvedic methods and Ayurvedic uh, teachings and we started uh, short courses of Ayurveda we are still continuing with those courses we have a number of courses initially we started with basic principles of Ayurveda on basic Ayurveda training then there was a short course there is a short course of massage advanced course of massage, marma therapy, panchakarma, clinical Ayurveda and all, the, all, all those courses. Fortunately, we have a strong faculty of over 300 Ayurvedic uh, postgraduate students. Of course, I can't tell them students. They are our faculty members, they are uh, Ayurvedic physicians. And that is our backbone. That is the strength of International Academy of Ayurveda. Because since 1996 till today, we have deputed over 100 Ayurvedic physicians to various of our centers with whom we have established MOUs in different countries where we send our teachers for training other people at their institutes for treating patients and then we started also conducting various short-term courses in various countries. Uh, we have our website www.ayurved dash int.com and if you visit the website you will find that today we have more than 27 countries affiliated to International Academy of Ayurveda and we have MOUs with all these countries so that's how we started and then slowly uh, people's or Ayurvedic uh, fraternity from all over the world they started to know about International Academy of Ayurveda they started coming down to Pune and Myself, my wife, Dr. Sulanda, and most of our faculty members, we started training, training as well. We are so proud that uh, from 1996 till today, we have over 500 uh, foreigners trained 
yung bule, kita wala yung masaya. Uh, IA gives a lot of opportunities to uh, all the young Ayurveda doctors to go abroad to teach at institutes uh, and centers affiliated with IA. Uh, and I will keep the, all the description and details in the description box, so please check out. So, sir, what would be your advice to young Ayurveda doctors who wish to take Ayurveda to each and every corner of the world and travel like you and how to start, progress, and conquer? Uh, what would be the funniest incident of uh, any of your travel diaries?